<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. To reintroduce myself. He's been watching our old videos. Yeah. <laughs> that must be where you picked that up from to do that again. Ah. Okay, we are doing these two. Hmm? I'm going to see what they're like against Mama's each other. Have a clue. Oh, you can't really see it, can you? No. Adnams. So we're doing Ghost Ship Me Camden. We was doing it earlier. We've got another video that'll probably get put out before this one. God knows. Um, but I dopely switched the machine off, so we had to wait three hours to do this one. So there you go, so you get two rather yeah. than one, which is good enough in a way because Ghost Ship needed to be done again in a way. So. Definitely. Right, I'm going to pour the Ghost Ship, and if you watch the earlier video, Jesus. Yeah, yeah so he pours a bit better than earlier. <laughs> Simon Mulder would be proud, trust me, really proud. Now I'll show you the art of pouring, I could do this sort of thing with my eyes closed, people. <laughs> we've got this at six degrees, and we've got the PAL at. There you go. Unfortunately, the machine under there hasn't got it in, it's in the machine over there. So I'll just, yep. no, I won't bother flipping the camera around. You can keep them, keep them occupied. Yeah, it's smile. not going to take that long. Tell them how much you love me. Lie to them. Wow. <laughs> I'm not saying anything oh, wow. to wow. Jesus. <laughs> People like you don't need enemies. <laughs> Right, there we go. Whoa, look at these pipe balls. Wow, okay. Shot of that quickly, so there you go. So far, so similar. They do look world class, yeah, don't they? they? Do. <laughs> so, if you're going on about your discounts, uh, if you're on your 15%, with your keg money back and so on, these are going to cost you about £2.60 a pint. So, for craft beer, that's not too bad really, is it? Let's be honest. So yeah, um, you can see the Camden there. I found that glass. We actually didn't yeah. get that glass like so many people with the, with the new release. We actually had that glass about four years, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was tucked away at the back. It's a little bit funny. But I found it and it did have some surprises in it, but it's done. Mm. Mm, Aroma-wise, Ghost Ship is smelling better. So I think that's more fruity, like pineapple, like... Um, this, is, this is really zesty, and yeah. you're getting that it's citrus like smell coming through. Yeah, I think that's more... But that's more like pine, piney. Mm. Um, I think it's more full-on fruit. Now, when I'm looking at them, like you say, they look similar, but that looks more full-on. Remember, there's only 0.5%. Yeah. 4.5 on the ghost ship, people, and 4%... On a Camden Power, there's not a lot in it. Um, you know, is that glass mucilated? Yeah, that's why it looks so much more lively. Yeah, that's good. Like, there's quite a lot of bubbles going like that, and I don't think that glass is mucilated. I'd be stunned if it is. No, nah. Camden are not that good, South London <laughs> twats. Anyway, enough about that. Okay. Let's not think about football. Let's go in. I'm going to try this one first. Yeah. So I always get grapefruit from that. Michelle begs to differ, but for me, I know it's zesty, I know it's lemony, I know what it's made of, I read the write up on it, but for me, it's just packs of punch. It's mm, okay. Yeah, you're right. It's got a lot more citrus in that. Yeah. There's a lot more like different mm. fruits in that. But for me, when you're putting them up together, um, I think the ghost ship's got more depth. I'm actually going to have to agree with oh, you. It's <laughs> just, just. And I do like Camden Palo. You scored I Camden Palo really high? Yeah, I scored it higher than this. I'm just saying, together, 
in my but opinion, I know I'm side by side. Yeah, I'm no paleo expert, not by a long shot. You know, you know more and have tasted much more paleos than me. I'm no expert at any beer, but I'm only giving an opinion. But putting them side by side, I thought it was a stonewall. That I was going to have to praise Camden again. I've got to say. You're right, it has got that piney kind of um, cut grass, herby kind of taste to it. And I'm picking up on a, a, a biscuity kind of maltiness to that. Yeah, it's, it's, the 4% is carrying that weight. Remember the Beatles song, mm. carrying that weight? It does. It's a weighty yeah. drink. I hate praising it, but credit where credit's due. It's not watery, it's not and, watery. It, and it could be at that percentage. But, although that's only 0.5 more. All I'm saying on this is, remember, this is a bit of fun. This is a fun video. We've got the kegs here, so yeah, let's do that. It gives us a purpose, you know. Sometimes you kind of sat here, you? and I'm like, let's do a YouTube video of that. You know, we've got enough videos done in advance that we wouldn't have to do YouTube for about two weeks. I don't think if we load loaded one a day, but it's I, fun. Yeah, it is. It's better. <laughs> and Just, I actually scored that higher than this. Sorry, Laura. Oh. Okay. Laura already yep. messaged me saying that <laughs> it's a stone wall. It's Camden. I thought it would be. I, I did think it would be. I thought it wasn't even close as well. Um, it isn't close, to be honest. This has got more. Right. It was sunny earlier. The sun's gone yeah. in a bit now. I think if you've got your doors open here and you're out on a daytime session, you're going to choose Camden. It does have that flavour. That tastes better drinking it on its own. Yeah. Drinking definitely. that next to that is not doing that any favours. No. And that for me wins. Yeah, the citrus flavours in that really do Much come more through prominent. nice and bold. And it, it kind of yeah, like you say, it's making it's making the Camden look inferior, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas on its own, as a standalone panel, it's a it does really well. I can't argue with that. Unfortunately, as a Spurs fan, you know I'd love to. <laughs> but that's it. It's, it's credit where credit's due. As I said to people, Dan spoke so highly of that. They were not putting that out unless that was right, right. But the ghost shit mm. that was Trace tasting more traditional earlier, Yeah. it's like it, it's up the ante yeah. when you're putting it there. It's like a ghost ship's like, I've got to stand up and be counted <laughs> yeah. now. This I'm going to be the winner. This, of this is well. the Spurs one, you know? <laughs> this is how it is. This is how it works. But no. I've, I just, I'm not a great fan of Pale Ale anyway, but I've got much more into them. I do like a good Do you well, because you like them, and then due to doing YouTube, if it weren't for doing YouTube, you wouldn't try I wouldn't have tried stuff. half <laughs> the stuff I, I tried and everything. And then we got addicted to getting the kegs first and everything. Now we do even things with Dan, so yeah, it's great. Um, but as I say, for me, that it's ghost ship. Again, sorry, Laura, he who dares wins, <laughs> he who hesitates. <laughs> right thanks for watching people uh what can i say it's easter weekend but god knows when you'll see this video but happy easter yeah happy easter well, it, might, <laughs> it might make no sense but bonjour